1908, the Lunatic Act was passed in England and Wales, which mandated that every county in the country establish an institute for the mentally ill. However, by 1840, over 30 years later, North Wales still had not built such an institution due to the financial constraints faced by the impoverished rural communities in the area. This meant that the most severely unwell, poorest individuals with mental illnesses were sent to asylums in England, which then introduced language barriers that inhibited patient care and ultimately led to the mistreatment of Welsh-speaking patients. In October 1842, more than 20 acres of land were donated by Joseph Ablett of Lamber Hall, along with monetary donations from the local residents totaling £4,600. Queen Victoria, as well as other royals, also donated to build Denby's own asylum. The construction of the North Wales Hospital began two years later in 1844 with the design and planning by architect Thomas Full James and his associate, Dr. Samuel Hitch, the founder of the first psychiatric association in 1841. The hospital was considered the most exceptional of its kind. It took four years to finish the construction, and it officially opened on the 14th of November, 1848, with a capacity of accommodating up to 200 patients. The clock tower was a generous donation from Mrs. Ablett in honor of her husband, Joseph, who had contributed the land for the asylum. At Denby, capable patients were assigned tasks within the hospital as a form of rehabilitation and to assist in maintaining the asylum and its grounds. Male patients tended to the gardens and worked on the farm to help the hospital become more self-sufficient, while female patients were employed in wash houses and sewing tasks. Throughout its history, the hospital faced mounting pressure to provide quality care and alleviate overcrowding. As a result, several extensions were added with the most significant taking place in 1899. This expansion enabled the hospital to accommodate up to 1,500 patients and provide a diverse range of treatments. In 1995, the hospital closed its doors and has remained empty ever since. In 1999, the hospital site was sold for £155,000 after proposed conversions to a college, hotel, or army barracks fell through. A later proposition in 2012 for the site to become a new super prison also failed to materialize. Fremont, Denby, Limited acquired it from Ace Bench Investments in 2003 for £310,000 via an offshore company registered in the British Virgin Islands. At various times, one person claimed involvement with all three companies, while at other times denying it. This caused claims of obfuscation and playing silly games over true ownership. After its closure, the hospital buildings have suffered from extensive looting and vandalism, along with several cases of arson, including those in November 2008 and April 2018. In February and July 2017, fires broke out, leading to the decision to demolish certain sections of the hospital due to irreparable damage. When the site was used jointly by North Wales Police and the armed forces for an exercise, some of the initial harm to the structures, like the blowing up of doors. Planning permission was granted to Fremont with the goal of using the funds from developing up to 280 houses, in addition to business and community facilities, to restore listed buildings. However, this permission lapsed in 2009, and Fremont neglected to address the deterioration of the structures. As a result, Denbysha Council issued an urgent works notice in June 2011. After issuing a dangerous structures notice, the council spent over £930,000 on emergency work required by the notice, but the owners refused to repay, citing concerns about the amount being claimed. 
Back in September 2013, the Planning Committee of the Council made a decision to implement a compulsory purchase order for the former North Wales Hospital. This decision came after Fremont failed to comply with the repairs notice, which mandated them to carry out major repairs on the buildings situated on the premises. The Council was granted the CPO by the Welsh Government in September 2015. After that, the Planning Committee authorised the serving of a general vested declaration, which was the final step in the CPO process. As a result, DCC took possession of the site in 2018 and secured ownership. The site is now run and managed by Jones Brothers Civil Engineering of Ruthin, Wales, with plans to demolish half of the site to make way for 300 houses 